Is this... I... Is this the right place? Is it time to collide with the word? I guess so. Introducing collide with the word. Quick, quack, quack, quick. And then he told them, Go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. Mark 16, 15. Quack, quack. Okay, everyone, this will be so fun. Here's the game. You've got to say Mark 16, 15, but you must keep looking at the camera. Sounds fun, right? Balderdash! Back in my day, we didn't need no games and fun to learn a Bible verse. We just rub some dirt in our eyes and we learned it. I am so going to rule this game. And then he told them, go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. Mark 16, 15. Oh, yeah? Well, I can say it without smiling. And then he told them, go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. Mark 16, 15. Well, I can say it without blinking. And then he told them, go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. Mark 16, 15. Well, I can say it without teeth. And then he told them, go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. Mark 16, 15. Hug, Swabber! That verse only has four words. Kids these days are softer than a rotten plum in a warm tub of bath water. Soggy plums. <laughs> ah, yes. I have fond memories singing the Mark 16, 15 song as a young lad in the schoolyard. I can hear it now. Bernard, do not sing. <clears throat> and then he told them... Stop it. Go into all the... No. Yes, dear. Pig squash! Back in my day, we didn't need no flim flammy song to learn a Bible verse. We just jammed our face in the snow and walked to school upside down and we learned it. Okay, okay, here I go. And then he told them, go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. Mark 16, 15. I did it! Today's translations lack the artistry of the old English grammar of yesteryear. <clears throat> And thence he said unto them, Ye shall goeth into us the world over, and preacheth thou good newseth unto every soul. Mark 16, 15 -eth. Brr, Preach it! Ha, ha, ha! Preach it! Bernard! Sorry. Hey, look. Here comes the flavored soup truck. I love flavored soup. I think flavored soup would be an appropriate reward for our earnest studies. Mutton busters! Back in my day, we didn't need no flavored rewards to learn a Bible verse. We just shoved a snake in our ear and we learned it. Grand Grand will buy flavored soup for everyone. And Danny told them, go into all the world and preach the good news to everyone. Mark 16, 15. <laughs> Talking dog! <laughs> what? You're expecting the baby to talk too? So cliche.